Hey, dude. I saw you drop in on that last set. You were shredding. That was sweet. You're welcome. So, you new around here? Just passing through? That's just... I've been at this beach several times a week for most of my life, and I've never seen you around here. Thought I knew every surfer out on the water. <laughs> you just moved here. Awesome, dude. Welcome. You're gonna love this place. Oh, yeah, it's great. There's something here for all sorts. Oh, my favorite spots? Uh, Main Street has a really nice little cafe. The coffee's great, but the berry pie is literally the best. Yeah, they make it from scratch. There's a little museum where we feature local art, which is pretty cool. Most of it's ocean-themed, you know? The park has concerts every other Friday night in the summer. And Ella's Diner has the best chowder you've ever had in your life, hand to God. Oh, the community's great. Everyone looks out for each other, and we all take care of our town. We even do beach cleanups every month or so. And I mean, you're already seeing the crown jewel for yourself. This beach is the most beautiful place in the world, isn't it? Great surf and a perfect view of the most gorgeous sunsets you will ever see. You a morning person? Right on. If you ever decide to get out here early, it's just awesome. Calm and cool and there's a ton of shells to look at. Oh, you can even pick up little baby crabs if you want. They're really cool. Yeah, you just pick them up gently between your thumb and index finger from the tail end and keep your thumb on their tummy so they don't fall. Their little legs tickle so much. It's great. <laughs> you can even tell if they're a boy or a girl from the pattern on the abdomen. Yeah, for real. There's a middle piece between the plates on their stomach. If it's wide and kind of like half an oval, it's a girl crab. And if it's narrow, it's a boy. Oh, I don't know. I used to go crabbing a lot as a kid. Must have picked it up then, I guess. Somewhere between poking at enemies and collecting sand dollars. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Huh? Oh, I call everyone dude. People are dude. My surfboard is dude. Harbor seals are dude. Yeah, everything. Dude. <laughs> you got a nice board there. You wanted to learn how to surf since you're going to be living here. Radical dude. Looked like you already had the basics down. You could have fooled me. You have pretty good control of your board. Nah, longboard is perfect for learning. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Just a little friendly advice, though. See that lumpy rock on the beach over there? Yeah, it kind of does look like a duck. <laughs> Love it. If you follow a line straight out from it into the water, see where the waves break right there? Yeah, be super careful in that spot. There's like a rock shelf there that pops out of the sand and usually doesn't have more than like a foot of water over it. One of my buddies knocked his head on it pretty bad a few years back, still has the scar. He was bleeding everywhere, it was gnarly. Yeah, dude, you're welcome. Just want everyone to have a good time out here and be safe, you know? You should have been here last week, dude. It was absolutely gangbusters. 
Oh, hell yeah. We had an awesome swell come in from the southwest. No wind chop whatsoever. It was frickin' glorious. Yeah, it's mellow today. Even when there's not much swell, I just love being out here. It's really peaceful, I guess. It's nice to just let your mind be at rest for a sec, you know? Just floating out here, all weightless like a feather. Your only job is keeping an eye on the tide. And when you're ready, you just ride that beautiful wave home. Hey, dude, you want to paddle in? It's getting late, and there's a good set coming in, see? Rad. Let's do it. That was awesome, dude. You headed out? Me? Oh no, I'm staying to watch the sunset. Uh, you can join if you want. Really? Awesome. Here, pull up a beach towel. You uh, want a bottle of water? <laughs> yeah, you gotta stay hydrated, especially when you're out on the water all day. Ironic, huh? <laughs> <sighs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. So, uh, what brings you here? Work, or family, or something else? Uh, I gotcha. Makes sense. Sure, I'm an open book. <laughs> what do you want to know? What do I do? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a photojournalist. I work for the local news station, but I also run a travel blog. Every six months or so, I go somewhere new to see what the world has to offer. And I uh, volunteer at the summer kids programs too, teaching surf lessons, but I bet that doesn't really surprise you. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, right on. Yeah, you seem like you'd be good at that. What do you like to do for fun? <laughs> That's sick, dude. Yeah, I, I, I like surfing, obviously, but hiking is awesome. And when the surf is down, I love to read. Oh, hell yeah. Reading is dope. It's fun getting carried away to other places without ever leaving your comfy spot on the couch. <laughs> Sorry, where, where did you say you were from again? Oh, nice. Did you like it there, or...? Yeah, I get that. Huh? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. I, I can't imagine what it would be like moving here from somewhere else. I've traveled a bunch and I love seeing different places, meeting different people, but 
I was born here. I went to school here. I had my first kiss here. I was wiping out on the waves before I could walk and eating sand on this beach before I could digest solid food. <laughs> I just can't imagine anywhere else being home to me. I hope it becomes home for you too. Sure, dude. I mean it. And there goes the sun. Hey, uh, this might be a little forward, because we hardly know each other, but, like, you seem pretty chill. You want to hang out sometime? <laughs> Sweet, dude. Let me give you my number. Here you go. Yeah, just text me once you're settled. Otherwise, I mean, I'll be out here most days. <laughs> Radical. <laughs> it's been awesome meeting you. Have a great night.